Hi, I'm Daniel Rhodes. I'm on the communications team for the Gerald Desmond Bridge Replacement Project. I'm here with Janine Obaid, Structures IQA engineer for the bridge project. Today we're going to take you to a place that we can't take the monthly tours, the main deck. So come on, let's go take a look. To go onto any construction site, you need PPE or personal protection equipment. It's the work boots, long pants, vest, safety glasses, and hard hat that we're wearing. But in this case, since we're going high in the air, you need a hard hat tether also to keep your hard hat from falling on someone below. We're on the main span, and this is a place we don't bring tours because it's an active construction zone. But Janine, if we did bring tours up here, what are some of the things that you'd talk about? Definitely the cable stays. This is a cable stayed bridge. So we have 80 cable stays on the bridge, each made up of anywhere from 49 to 109 strands. That means they can hold up to 1.8 million pounds of force. Why is that important? Because these cable stays are the only thing holding this bridge up. It's not connected to that tower. The cable stays connect from the deck all the way to the top of the tower, and that tower is 515 feet tall, the second tallest tower of a cable stayed bridge in the country, so we're proud of that. That's great, Janine. Is there anything else you'd like to cover? Yes. So we are actually close to closing this bridge. We've got about 17 feet left. This is what we call our closure span. We've got an edge girder, another edge girder that's coming in here, and then one of these giant floor beams coming in. This deck will be 205 feet above the channel. That's gonna allow taller ships to come into the port. And uh, it's gonna be the tallest deck of a cable stay bridge in the country. And that is a long way down. See you in another part of our virtual tour.